This week we're talking about patience. I like the way Galatians 5.22, the amplified version, after the word patience, it adds this in brackets. It says, not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting. I don't know if you've noticed the cuts in these videos each week, but part of those cuts is me waiting for airplanes to pass overhead. And so what am I doing while those sounds are going by? Typically, I'm just sitting quietly. One kind of waiting just requires being still. Today is a lot of planes. A lot of jets. Only one siren so far. This past weekend, we talked about where the storm comes and the disciples are all freaking out because they're in this boat being swept side to side by these huge waves. And Jesus is sleeping. Jesus has no fear because of these waves. Because he got in the boat with the intention of getting to the other side. When they wake up Jesus, he calms the waves. And then all the disciples are asking each other, who is this man? They still didn't know who Jesus was. If they knew who Jesus was, and they knew who they had in the boat with them, then they would have also been able to be still. There are times in our lives when all we can do, we know Jesus is in the boat with us, we know he said he was going to get us to the other side, and all we can do is be still and trust him. That is a kind of patience. And then there's another kind of patience where we are doing in the midst of the waiting. When my son was 10 years old, I bought him his first drum set. And then I sat down on the drum set and played for him. I played for him to give him a vision of where he could be. Then we went back to the rudimentary steps. I taught him how to keep a beat with one hand. Ba, 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 ba. Then we added the other hand. Ba, 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 ba. Once he had that down and he could keep a good rhythm, then we could add a foot. Boom, ba, ba, boom, ba. Once he had that, he was able to play almost every ACDC song. So I could put on a song for him, have him play through it, and this continued building up his confidence. And I watched him continually practicing, and we were both patient with the process. Why? Because we had a vision together of where he was going. And that vision gave him hope. And the hope provided the patience necessary to keep going and work through those steps. The patience, period, included the practice, included the steps, included the building. There was building in the patience. Now both of those illustrations, the one where you're still and the one where you're practicing and doing things, both of those require the same attitude, an excited hope for a destination. And again, that destination is a vision. So I wanna encourage you, all of us have places in our lives where we need patience. And if you're struggling with patience, then look at where is your hope. And if you're having a hard time having that hope, then I would ask you, what are your eyes on? What is the vision? Where are you going? That's a great place to start. Lord, help me to see where I'm going so that I can have hope, so that I can walk in patience.